Hi, welcome to Pickup Sports, and this is our first starter game for baseball. It's week one starter game for baseball and softball called Carnival Ball Toss, which will teach you actually how to get your kids to throw. First, you have to learn how to throw underhand with Carnival Ball Toss. But before we start every anything, we want to make sure that we get um, a little good warm up. And our first warm up is going to be what we call lily pad jumping. And that's going to be pretending we're little frogs. So I have my little help here. My name is Raiden, and I'm going to pick up sports. My name is Kishan. My name is Kishan. And I'm going to pick up sports. And I'm <laughs> All right, all right. So why don't you guys get on, get on, go ahead and get on your lily pad here. You ready? Set, go. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. ribbit. Good. Hi, welcome to Pick Up Sports. And we are ready to do Carnival Ball Toss, which is a week one starter game for your little kids for learning how to throw underhand for baseball and softball. So this is pretty simple. You might have the equipment from Pick Up Sports, like agility dots, you'd have four of those, and four different types of balls. However, uh, if you don't, you just use any type of balls that you have and any sort of uh, uh, little target you have. And if you maybe if you live on a sidewalk, you just put something in the middle of a sidewalk. Um, and so uh, the purpose of this game is to try to get your kids to throw underhand towards targets and see if they can win a prize and get better at underhand throwing. Hi, welcome to Carnival Ball Toss for baseball and softball. This is gonna teach our kids how to underhand throw towards specific targets, but like in a fun carnival game. Who's been in a carnival game where they try to throw a ball in a bucket? Well, now we're gonna use agility dots you can see right here, and we're gonna try to get it in each of these little dots. First, for the younger kid, you might do the first short dot, like the blue one. You just toss it under and see if you can hit that target, okay? So Millen's gonna go ahead and try it first, okay? Stand right here, stand behind that line, and a soft little toss, get that blue dot. Awesome, okay, hold. Now he's gonna try to get to that green dot, see if he can win a prize. Almost! And then Kishin is gonna come over here. He's a little older. He's gonna try to hit this orange dot underhand. Kishin's gonna go for the orange. Go ahead, do the orange, almost! And then now try to get the red. Oh, he got it, he wins a prize. Yeah. Mill's gonna try to win a prize here. Try to get the blue dot. You got it, let's get the green. Oh yeah, I just about it. Awesome, you guys each win a, you're gonna win a prize for the carnival ball toss for underhand throwing and baseball and softball. Hi, remember me? I'm Kishan from the last two videos. <laughs> um, I'll be telling you the word of the day. If you're new to this, we always have a word of the day. So, the word of the day was underhand. I really wanted to do target. So, underhand, overhand, and target are the words of the day. Under, some of you are asking what's the difference with the underhand and for, for, Over, forehand. Overhand. Overhand. Um, so, the difference is, is Underhand, you do under and soft. Four, over. Uh, overhand, you do it farther, harder, and over. This one you do soft, not that far, and under. And for target, you know how we wanted to make a target here? So that's the target. Just wanting you to know. I'll see you next time in the next game. Bye. Let's <laughs> go.